Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Let's take a trip down memory lane and see how things have evolved. So let's get into it. Brianna, I'm so effing pissed. Naya, what happened? Sis, what's up? Brianna, everybody keeps telling me to be quiet, but this is affecting my mother effing money. I'm damned if I do and damned if I effing don't. Ugh, this is actually real. So this is where she shares with them an email that she receives. She says, remember I said I was working on another campaign with them? This Latrue stuff is, is now really affecting things. See below. And in the email it says, thanks so much for your patience, Sean. After further consideration, the team would like to hold off on any upcoming projects with Brianna at this time. Due to the recent influx of negative comments on her post and lack of inter interaction she currently has with her audience, we no longer feel confident moving forward after the current campaign ends. I appreciate your time and hope to work with more of your clients in the future. Brianna. I had a deal with this company for $6,000 per post because of the negative comments because of Robert dumbass. They are now pulling back. My manager said not to go back and forth, but God damn, this is how I feed my mother effing kids. Naya says, shaking my head, Lord. Sis says, I get what you're saying, sis. But at this point, you got to figure out if speaking up is going to help or harm you. Shay says, oh my God. Might have to turn the comments off until further notice. The other friends, friend says, oh, wow, that's effed up. Yeah, F them folks in comments right now. So this is very telling. And what this tells is Brianna knows what she's doing. She knows that talking about the truth and this made up DV story is what is putting food on her table. Brianna is admitting she has no content. She has nothing to sell. She has no way of making money outside of speaking on this fake DV story and the truth. So then Brianna says, I could effing scream. Shay says, show these brands that your brand is positive and forward progression. When they try to spin the block, make them feel it. And they mother effing chest, double it. Naya says, yes. Because it's your views that matter. So keep pushing your positivity no matter what. Shay says, no equals, next opportunity. Keep going. Naya says, it's always better. Always. Now, Brianna had friends in her corner who are giving her um, some good advice. They're telling her, no matter what, keep it positive. Um, keep going. Don't, you know, get down about this one offer to pull it out on you. But she is going to continue to do what she do. And that is bash Robert. So then Brianna sends them another email she received. We have received several emails alerting us to ongoing Facebook activities that violates community guidelines as it relates to bullying and harassment. And there seems to be a lot of derogatory publicity surrounding your social profiles. We ask that you restrain from responding, commenting, and broadcasting this type of dialogue as it is bringing down your integrity of your brand. I'm not sure how to make it go away. Perhaps alert your fans that you will not be a part of this at all. We have an extensive lineup of high-level brand deals, including e-commerce, Los Angeles talent booking, upcoming launch of your skincare line, as well as just being Brianna's show. Negative publicity could impact the image we are pitching as it relates to your lifestyle brand. It is in the best interest of your future career and future kids' branding strategies that this type of media attention detach itself from your brand. Once again, this is our team reaching out to her, letting her know this is not looking good for your brand. What does she do? Continue to connect herself to the hate groups, disregarding what her management team is telling her she should do. So again, they are trying to encourage her to do the right thing. Positive vibes only. F them. People and their negativity. Time to walk into your next level. Naya, Naya responds, I know it is bothersome, but do what you have not only to eat, but to heal. Push your brand to the fullest and let the BS roll off. Roll off you like oil and water. Don't mix 
you are the water spread it this is a test ace that ish a plus shea says and is i was literally just typing that the other friend says yeah this gonna help you stay and only post positive things only f everything else brianna says this mother effing bottle battle Ugh. naya says and keep battling the right way the other friend says but you got it though shay responds they don't have anything to lose you do because the brands want you this is only the beginning next it will be bigger brands god is preparing you for greater this is the trial period time to get in beast mode every time you feel like responding to things about this and your kids future let them talk naya says say that shay oh wow sis to keep it a buck ten i was on some fuckery today at my own expense but honestly this is how you get your bag by social media and doing promotions and more promotions and more so i say like i had before please don't entertain no more please meaning on any of your platforms let it go don't prove anything else because people gonna to judge you regardless good or bad you got a lot going for yourself don't let this going back and forth block you from your blessings sis i know it's hard but now you're paying a lawyer let her do your fighting you have your kids and the people you want in your circle including janelle so as the people you trust like i group do in there and sis i know we both keep up with what's said but to think but i think you need to make an announcement and let the brie team know they can deactivate because you don't need all this continuing negativity because it's blocking you from moving on and your blessings also let them know you don't want to no longer entertain anything dealing with the situation yeah i apologize about the reading but i don't have my glasses um so again they are encouraging her to let this go and remember she came um live and told brie hive to back down and she didn't want anything else to do with the situation so she listened for a moment and then she went right back to calling him out so again she does not listen so then someone says well sis you know our conversations and I was just sending you this and then you messaged over here. I love you and this is no harm to you, just my opinion. Hey, I'm on my page with my auntie. Preaching is three, preaching. It's three recordings, all are great, but the first seven minutes, listen to it until the end and let me know what y'all think posted yesterday. Brianna says, yeah, I'm about to take Lauren home and take a drive. Love y'all. Naya says, love you, clear your head. Somebody else says, love you, hit me if you need to. But I know you already know. Well, I'll just say this to Brianna. Brianna, you have some real positive and real people in your corner. They were your real friends. They were the ones who was encouraging you to leave the negativity alone. <clears throat> excuse me i know you wanted to keep it going just like you are now because like you said it's putting food on your table but sometimes you need somebody in your corner to let you know the real and, and you had that and you didn't listen to it and now you have effed your brand up trust me you have effed it up and the people you have on your team did not make it any better you didn't have a positive group of women you had a group of women who was tearing your brand down and it makes me wonder was this all a setup was it a setup to take you down from the beginning and i say that because these these group of women you have behind you they are not promoting you in a positive way truth is yes you tore your brand down but they burned it down well that video was from a year ago and since then she has lost everyone around her it's god even those times that i came live and i was like let me stop and get to some real tea and um, shout out to the person who sent me some of the things that I'm about to talk about today. 
She did not want her name revealed, but I thank you, my sister. So this was on their wedding day where she posted, that's my bestie, my bestie, my best friend. Now I want you guys to take a look at this video I'm about to play. Look at her face, especially at the end. She looked like, yeah, I won. Let the games begin. Check it out. Did y'all see that smirk on her face at the end? It's almost like that one video that I had where um her and uh, Lauren, Lauren was sitting on her lap and that's when she was saying, somebody had asked her a question about whether or not she was having more kids. And that look she gave. This video is very telling. And the sad part is we got Robert in the background and he don't have no idea that he just signed papers with the devil. Look at her face. Let me just talk to y'all for a moment. There was a time in um, Brianna and Janelle's relationship that I was like, you know, I wish people would send him these clips of what it is she's doing. I wish people would send him the clips of when she was with Robert and all the things that she said to Robert and look Look how she's turned out. Look how she she's tried to turn this man world upside down. Because I'm not going to lie. I wanted him to leave her so she can really, really feel and sit in what it was she done. Because we all know Janelle has been a distraction. As much as she say she has healed, let's be real. She hasn't had time. She went from one relationship to another. And he was nothing but a distraction and still is. So she really haven't had a chance to mourn the loss of her marriage. That's one. But as time went on, I said, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad he chose her and I'm glad she chose him. Because he have he went in, he had a motive when he linked up with this girl too. He knew he could come up. He knew um, his numbers would go up. He knew he could elevate off her. Her favorite word, elevate. And listen to me. Anywho, he knew she was a come up. He knew he could use her. So he went in with, with bad intentions also. But I'm glad they chose each other because he is her karma. Every chance his man get, he embarrasses this woman. He never shows his love and affection towards this woman. He never... I know gifts ain't important to a lot of people, but that's my love language. And my husband know that that's my love language. So he'll surprise me days when he get off the road, he'll come in and just have something for me because he know I like gifts. But this man don't gift her anything. Not only is he not gifting her anything, he's going upside her head. He's spitting in her face. He's beating on her children or her son. Well, we don't know who all he hitting on. He allegedly sneaking in and out of Lauren's room in the middle of the night for no reason at all. And it seems as though that's just being ignored. Why? He is threatening to unalive this lady. He has an alcohol, uh, alcohol problem. Apparently he cannot control himself when he is drinking, but he still continues to drink. He done got so mad that he's tried to speed off in the, in the driveway with her holding, um, uh, Robert's baby in her arms and almost hit them. I mean, the list goes on. And they find a way to not talk about this. Why? Because it's the truth. We all know this lady manifested this life for herself. So I'm glad they chose each other because he going to see what Robert went through. And she's going to see that this is my karma. I shouldn't have never done this shit. I shouldn't have never went this far. The moment my husband tried to come to the internet and fix all this for the both of us, because that's what Robert did. Robert tried to save her image and his. And instead of her allowing him to do that, 
she started seeing that she was getting traction from this abuse story and talking down on him. She seen that was working for her. So she just took off with it. Now, I want to say this. If you listen to her, if you really listen to her, when she's talking about she's free and nobody can control her now, she's able to do what she want to do and and da 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 <laughs> okay when she's talking about that i do believe in her mind she thought that robert was controlling her well we we can't say that he wasn't controlling her because we wasn't in the house we don't have proof that he wasn't but i believe as an older man he was trying to lead her he was trying to um steer her in the right direction he was um creating structure and discipline for them kids in that house and she being young-minded took it as control that man was trying to help you mold yourself into the best woman that you can be that man elevated you and to prove that he elevated you take a look at this this is you my love these are your numbers 11 views 15 20 11 9 these views wasn't hitting on nothing 10 views, 12, nothing at all. He elevated you. He upgraded you. He made you. Face it. Face it, Brianna. This man was your elevation, and you knew that. That's why you went in his DM, and that's why you went after him, because you knew he could do it for you. You knew this and for you to go on your platform and act like this man ain't done shit for you is wrong. But why should we expect anything different from you? Truth be told, those numbers don't lie. And those numbers was not numbering, my love. Well, that was nine months ago. And look what they're going through now about this woman that is on the internet that is actually promoting helping people heal from domestic violence and she's acting as if that she is a victim of domestic violence and so we were talking about the situation and a good friend of mine who so I was talking to she says I know that girl personally and she says baby she said that girl is ruining people's lives and I said well let's talk about it I said I tried to stay away from that situation and stay neutral but when I went over there to find out what was going on on this girl's page I was to my surprise I was like wow really 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 so here we go again we got a somebody that's profaning to be so called child of God I'm a Christian I'm a believer God got me God gonna get you God gonna get them God is blessing me God got my back but number one I could not first get past the outer image I could not y'all I listen we know that we are living in a time now y'all hit trigger preacher always say it that there is a modest way that a believer first must conduct them conduct themselves whether woman or um, whether man listen when you go on this girl page number one she's very explicit she done got her breast done, probably whatever else done, mouth done and everything. She's very explicit. She doesn't make no shame about it. She's showing all kind of body parts. She wants to be idolized. She's doing all, I mean, all kind of stuff. But let's get to the real point. The real point is this, is that I'm sitting up there trying to watch why some of the people that I know is watching this girl page. They're clapping her page. They're, they're, they're celebrating this girl and they're believers. So y'all know I was over there, Trigger Preacher's over there like, really? Really? Y'all are believers and y'all over here celebrating this wickedness. Y'all over here investing in this wickedness. Y'all over here promoting this wickedness. Let me say this. Trauma unchecked would turn into wickedness. Trauma unchecked would turn into evil. Trauma unchecked would turn into witchcraft. And what many women do not want to be honest about is they got a whole lot of trauma. Women got a whole lot of trauma. I know trauma all too well, especially when it comes to men. Now, men got their own sets of trauma, but I'm going to tell you something. Women got this trauma where they hate men. They hate men because somebody that either molested them, touched them, beat them, abused them, did them wrong, left them out for all of that. So some women just hate men. And so when you take this hate for men, hate for what has happened to you, when you take all of this stuff into a, a relationship and it has not been dealt with, it has not gone checked, you have not had therapy, you have not had help, it becomes wicked. And all of a sudden, the male becomes the victim 
of your wickedness. And so when you look at this particular girl, she is badgering this guy named the truth. Now, let me tell you something. His name, the truth, his name, Robert Hampton. He is getting badgered. She got him all over the internet calling him, talking about he got a shrimp. This her baby daddy. Girl, this her baby daddy, y'all. Listen, this is her baby. Now, any woman would do that to her own baby daddy. Would do that to a man that she got flesh with. Y'all, listen. I know a lot of us have gotten into it with our baby daddies, ex-husbands, whatever. But when you go on live internet, man, and you're talking about your baby daddy, yo, you are, and you're a believer. I'm going to say for real, if you're a believer, you out of line. You out of line. Because that's not the way that Christ tells us to do things. Matter of fact, he says forgive them even if, if, even if they don't forgive us. And so this woman is promoting that she's a believer. She's promoting that she's all into God. She's promoting but she's half naked all the time. She's, she's talking about cussing words out of her mouth, calling people out their name when they don't agree with her. She's calling them bees and slandering words. I mean, she's just pathetic over there. I mean, pathetic. And then she's capitalizing off of her audience. And then she has videos where she's actually, her friends are actually in the background saying, yeah, make a t-shirt, girl. They'll buy that too. Since you got the audience, since you got their attention, so now she's capitalizing on getting money. And so this next thing she's doing is, is, is playing like she's a domestic violence survivor. And so she, domestic violence. And so listen, y'all, I went and I saw this woman video who did a video about her. And the woman called her Lyonia. She calls her Lyonia. She did a video and the video showed that before she even got into this marriage, it showed that she was talking about her first baby there. And that she wanted to be on Shade Room. And this video showed that she was talking about, you know, wanting to be in a rap video and things like that. And, and the video shows her character. Character cussing, cussing folks out, acting hood, rat, ghetto. I know what that's like. Been there, done that too. So this, this, this video shows everything. It shows her talking about how good that her former husband was before she, you know, the one she's trying to divorce now. It shows about how he upgraded her, how he, um, how he helped her when it comes to, you know, doing um, um, these videos, how he helped her when it came to being online. And this video shows that she's talking about how she was making $10 an hour before he came into her life. And she had three degrees and how he upgraded her and how now he got her all, you know, making money on, on these videos and on social platforms. But this the same woman that sitting on her page said he ain't helped her. Her name was already good. She was already great. Oh my God, pride. Pride of the all time high. Pride, this woman, the woman is claiming God, but at the same time, she ain't even out of her marriage completely and she's having sex with another man. Let me tell y'all something. When this trauma is unchecked, and you get another man, it just switches over. That evil just switches over. This girl has been hurt. This girl, somebody, whatever her first baby daddy did to her, he released some dogs on her and did some stuff and left her out there. He left her. Well, he got away from the trauma. Praise the Lord. He got away. And now they're badgering. Let me tell you something. This, this, this Robert guy, this the truth guy, anybody who's badgering this man like that, all y'all, y'all wicked. Y'all wicked. Y'all got trauma in y'all lives and we know it. I got traumas in my lives that God is still dealing with it. But let me tell you something. Don't you relinquish that trauma on no man. Don't you dare go out there and destroy his life and destroy his character when you got trauma too. And we got to be careful because what you put in somebody else's life, it has a way of making itself come right back into your life. And at the end of the day, this girl is sitting here talking about she a domestic violence victim. Girl. You ain't no doggone domestic violence. Let me tell you something. People who commit domestic violence, they ain't got time for you to call no police. They ain't got time to break a little finger. They gonna break you down. Do you hear me? Most domestic violence men is in prison. I tell you that right now, the, the, the women is dead and can't talk about it or they in some type of shelter or home. Ain't no man going to get on his phone while he doing something to you or you doing something to him and start taping. See, see what she doing to me? Let me tell you something. Domestic violence is a spirit. It's the spirit of rage. It is a spirit that goes beyond anger. See, anger, God said you going to have anger. He says, be angry, but sin not. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. A domestic violence man, baby, he cannot control himself when it comes out of anger. It gets into rage. And let me tell you something. That spirit is kill, 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 kill. Ask most domestic violence women. That spirit will kill you. And you would know that it would kill you. You ain't, It ain't about to play with you. It ain't about to put you on videos. No, it will kill you. Clearly, this man, Robert Hampton, 
is not a domestic violence man. Now, whatever he's dealing with, yeah, he got his own traumas. A lot of men deal with perversion and they deal with lust, okay? They deal with perversion and lust. And that's something that you can tell he needs to be delivered from. But also, she over there being the perverted and lust that he got bound up with. And so he's over there showcasing perversion and lust on his, on his page. She over there showcasing that she is perversion and lust on her page. So he got connected to his trauma. He got connected to perversion and lust, lust because it was a part of his trauma. And then she got connected where his trauma did not fit with her trauma and she became the abuser to him. So if you're talking about you're going to represent domestic violence, you are domestic violence. You are the domestic violent girl. And any woman who's following her and she's soaring into your life and she's telling you, yeah, leave him and do it. She's, she can't guide you. She's not healed. Her trauma is not being checked yet. She's not healed. She's over there still trying to find acceptance. She's over there still trying to find herself. Brianna, whoever she is, is hidden within that doggone wickedness and that wicked woman that she's now portraying. This is not of God. I'm tired of y'all sitting around here thinking that these people is of God. But the Bible says you know mass by the fruit that it bear. First of all, look at the fruit of the spirit. Look at these things. Love, joy, long suffering, goodness, meekness, all these things. All this stuff she's doing, exposing this man. I mean, like he was nothing. Like he was trash. That's what wickedness would do. Wickedness would treat somebody like they was just the scum of the earth. Like they were trash. Like it was nothing good in it. And ultimately, wickedness wants to kill that person. It is a deadly spirit. It is a witchcraft spirit. It wants to destroy that person. And here this man go, trying his best trying his best to defend his name, defend his character. But I'm telling you, man, you better go get here. You better go get some deliverance. Go find your deliverance pastor. They're all around because what was just put on you? Baby, you need some deliverance. You already going through some stuff for yourself, your own traumas, your mama gone and all that stuff. But this right here, this, this spirit right here, it'll make you question yourself. It'll make you think you was the one. You the worst one. You got your traumas, but this ain't it. And no, Robert Hampton, you are not an abuser. You are just as like any other man out here that got your own traumas and things you're dealing with. But what this woman is doing is wicked. This is witchcraft at this most high. This is wicked. And what she do, and what Janelle, whoever this guy is that's laughing with her baby, and she wasn't even finally divorced yet, and you were sitting up there sleeping with this woman, and this woman ain't even divorced and got a little baby. You just got the baby. You so young, you, you so young, young man, you don't even understand. You so young, the enemy is using you for your lust and your perversion, and you got it mixed up in this because you saw something. Oh, you saw something. It kind of reminded me of the story of Esther when Vestal, she was this and she was that, and she was a disgrace to the king. She was a disgrace to the king. Y'all better read Esther. She was a disgrace to the king, but he saw something. Janelle, you're doing the same thing the truth did. He saw something. He saw something, and based off the traumas of lust and perversion, he got connected with something, but he didn't know that he was connected to a witchcraft spirit. He didn't know he was connected to that type of wicked spirit. He didn't know it, but it showed up, baby. And let me tell you something. Listen, you could be delivered from being a witch. You could be delivered from being wicked. You could be delivered from all of that stuff, right? If you surrender and submit your will unto Christ. But that means you got to die. That means your flesh got to die. That means everything that's in you that's not like God, you got to put it up under the burner and let God kill it every day. Because if that thing take over, not only will it destroy you, but it'll destroy everything that is around you. It'll destroy every man that is around you. And so at the end of the day, I'm saying if there's any counselors that's on here that deals with this kind of spirit come on if there's any deliverance on uh, pastors or counselors that deal with this kind of stuff women that are evil and mad at men and and, 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 and they got all this trauma from being abused if you deal with that we need you we need you we need you in these comments if you deal with deliverance and that we need you and those who are following her oh my god you got a whole client. You got a whole lot of clients right now, whoever you are. Therapist, deliverance coach, because whoever is following that, she is feeding their trauma. She's, she's feeding their traumas, and they're both. Is not of God. And what this girl is doing is not of God. She has failed away from the true love of God. She has failed away from the principles of God. She has failed away from the very essence of who God is. And somebody got to say it. This is wickedness and this is trauma that she's dealing with that's unchecked. Y'all, come on, somebody. Y'all come in because this little whole group that's going around. I'm when I see women comment on her page, I say, Oh, you showing yourself. Oh, but I'm going to say, Robert. 
Robert, I will say your crowd over there is more mature. You got more mature savers and believers over there and older women. But this crowd right here, this, this, some of this crowd, most of this crowd over here is, is like we were very young, very ignorant, don't really know God. They living their own life. They living a wild life. That's a whole. And see, when you over here saved and you dealing with a crowd like that, you got to watch yourself. Because see, you can't say and do certain things. But that crowd over there, oh, they have no restraint. They have no restraint. I mean, everything is over there. They cut you out, put you out there, blow you out. They don't care. They have no restraint. And they'll say it all in the name of Christ. They said all in the name of I'm a believer of God. You will lie. You will lie. The truth ain't in you. You don't believe in God. You know about God, but you don't believe. God don't live in you. God don't flesh is in operation. The spirit don't, don't live in you. The Bible says walk in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. And you guys are filling the lust of your flesh. That's what you're doing. You ain't walking in the spirit, man, because the spirit don't talk like that. The spirit don't move like that. The spirit don't operate like that. The spirit will make you get your mind right. The spirit will make you shut your mouth, close your mouth, and don't dare say those words out your mouth because you don't know what you're putting out there. That a way of making itself back to you and damaging your whole world, but you wouldn't know that if you're on the other side. You wouldn't know but why things ain't operating in your life, for real, for real, because you know what? The stuff you're putting on somebody else is hitting you. It's hitting you, hitting your family, hitting your stuff. You don't want that life. You don't want that life. So those that y'all on the other side, I pray that you come on this side. I pray that you understand the principles for real, because if you following that and that's becoming your God, and you think that's right, Baby, that's leading you down. That's a wolf in sheep clothing, baby. That's a wolf in the sheep clothing to y'all. We know it ain't no sheep. We know it don't even look like a sheep. But it's sure a wolf trying to portray to y'all that it's a sheep, okay? But it's not. It's a wolf. Because that thing, do not speak for the true believers of God. That thing need deliverance. That thing need healing. That thing need to be set free. And that thing is a liar. And somebody got to expose it. And somebody got to call it out. Y'all better stop validating that mess over here. Stop validating. You can go make your money. But don't put God in it. Because God ain't got nothing to do with that foolishness that this girl over here doing called just being Brianna. No, you are just being Brianna. And it ain't got nothing to do with God. It got everything to do with your desires and your idol worshiping self and everything that you want. And it's wicked. It's wicked. And it's wicked. Until next time, this is your sister. The trigger preacher, also known as God's girl. Y'all better stop keep talking about what y'all doing for God. Because what you do for God, that's the only thing that's going to last. What you doing for yourself, it has an expiration date. Until next time, God bless. Well, guys, that's all the commentary I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. Don't forget to support your black-owned businesses. Visit ours in the link below.